So knowing how to tie your own tie is very important for every man out there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to tie your own tie. So I'm gonna provide you guys with three different styles that you guys can choose from. So first one is called the four in hand, and then we got the half Windsor, and then we also have the full Windsor as well. So I'm gonna provide you guys with detailed instructions and how I do it so you guys can basically do it anytime you guys need to. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Arcway, a new direction of a modern man, helping men with styling, grooming, and health so you guys can improve your life at the same time help out people around you. If you guys are new to this channel and are considering becoming a member, make sure to subscribe in the comment section down below. Also drop a comment and let's begin this. So first thing here is called the foreign hand. So keep in mind, I am left-handed. So this is what it looks like on me. So we're gonna have the longer side about so as it kind of falls down and then the shorter side about halfway so about there so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cross over the tie to the shorter side so it's crossed over like that that's the first step the second step is we have the longer side we're gonna basically put it behind the short loop sorry the short tie so we get the longer side we're gonna put it behind the short end, so it's on the other side. Just keep a pinch on that. So this is what we have so far. And then after that, we're gonna get this side and we're gonna go through the front like that. So we're kind of crossing over what we did, crossing it over. And then this is where the knot is created. So it's basically you're gonna go up and over. So we're gonna go we're gonna grab this side, we're gonna put it underneath the loop, underneath the loop. We're gonna bring it up above the loop, and then we're gonna bring it down into this hole which is created at the front here. So we're gonna push this down in the hole that it's created. We're gonna bring that down right there. And then we're basically gonna adjust. So keep in mind, this is what it looks like. So only thing you gotta do is just adjust it from here. So pinch the bottoms right here, and we're gonna bring it up. There you go. And basically, we're just gonna adjust it from here. So fix the collar, make sure it looks good. Bring the collar piece down. Make sure you look in the mirror if you have one and just kind of tweak it by pinching the tips here and then pulling the collar down, uh, pulling the back end here down. And basically you just have to keep adjusting until you find it feel suit to your own body and your own image. Basically that's called a foreign hand tie. So that's what it looks like right there. It naturally will have a little slope on the end. You just gotta tweak it a little bit but that's basically the first demonstration. So second demonstration of the tie we're gonna do is called the half Windsor. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna have the big side of the tie a lot more longer than the short side because we're gonna be doing a lot more ties in this one. So it just needs to be a lot more longer. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cross it over. So as you cross over like that, we're gonna bring this longer side of the tie through the back of it, through the back, just like that. So this is what we have so far. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring this fat side of the tie, we're gonna bring it over and down through the loop. So over and down through the loop like that. Let's bring it down, pull it down like that. So now we have this little knot right here so this side, so what we can do here is we can go from left to right, either or. So for me, I'm gonna go from my left to the right, just because the knot's already created on the one side. So I just wanna even it out, create that nice V shape. So I cross it over like that. As I cross it over, I'm gonna go under 
So I'm gonna bring it under the loop, which is the loop right here. I will bring it under and over. So from here, bring it under, and then I'm gonna bring it and over. So as I bring it over, so this is what I have right here. And then I'm gonna bring it down through the loop I created right here. So I'm gonna bring it down where my thumb is. Bring it down. And this is called the half Windsor. So what you guys can do from here, you can always adjust it. So make sure you have a mirror, spend some time on it, bring the collar down. Make sure it's even all around. Just tweak it by pinching the bottoms here, pinching the bottom and pulling this down, pinch the bottom, pull it down and it's adjust like so. And if there's a little extra in the back, you can basically put it through the loop right here. Like that. Sometimes it might be a little longer than the end of the tip, but that's okay. You can always tweak it. You can always double it up. You can always get like a clip and then just make it straight as possible. And that's what it is. Boom. So this is called a full Windsor tie. So what we're gonna do here is that we're gonna be generous with the longer blade side, a lot more generous because we do a lot of folding here and you don't want it to come too short. So be extra generous, bring it, give it a lot of length. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cross it over. So as you cross it over like that, we're gonna bring this longer side behind to the side right there. Perfect. And then we're gonna bring this longer side through the top and down like that. So this is what we have so far. And basically we're gonna do this again. So we're gonna bring the bottom side through the top and down, top and down like that. And now we're gonna finish off with the V. So we're gonna cross it over like that. As you cross it over around the knot, as you cross it over around the knot in the front, bring it under and over. So under, under, and then we're gonna go over down into the loop in the front. So now basically this is what we have. Now we're just gonna adjust it, pinch the bottoms, pull the back end like this, bring it up. Pull it down a little bit if you need to, just play with it, adjust it, find out what works best for you. Bring the flaps down. Look into the mirror if you need to. Adjust it, play with it. Bring the flap at the back here. The front, boom. Tug, whatever. And then that's what you got. So that basically is called the full Windsor tie. So yet again, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite tie knot is. And yet again, thank you guys for watching Arcway, a new direction of modern men, helping men with their styling, grooming, and health. So you guys can optimize at the highest level at the same time, help out people around you. Thank you for watching. My name is Tulu, and I'll see you guys in the next video.